Good morning. This is Shane with Greenstone Services. I hope that you're having a great day today. And thanks for tuning in for day five. My goal has been met. I wanted to get five, five days. This is the fifth day, which is awesome. I respect anybody that hits that upload button on a daily basis. If they don't have a team, if they're a single player, wow, you're doing something. It's a hustle. Beyond that, what do we have to do today? What are the things that we need to accomplish? Let's see. First thing is I need to get day four edited. Okay, we can do that. Come eight o'clock, I've got to go. Remember that doctor I was talking about that they wanted me to come by and check something out? Well, I didn't get into town till late yesterday, and so I wasn't able to pick it up. But I reached out to them. They reached out to me, and we got things scheduled. So come eight o'clock this morning, I'm going to go by there and pick it up. And then we can give it an evaluation, find out what's going on with it. A bunch of things. That's actually, that's a full day's worth of stuff because I still have to edit this as well. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get it there. You know, I got to apologize for dropping you the other day. I didn't mean to throw you off the, th yeah, I did. Here you go again. We need to check up on this over here, which is the computer that we were wiping and reinstalling so that they could give it away. And it looks like it's almost done. All I've got really left to do is to activate the computer and we're good. If you have been watching, I want to say thank you for checking it out this week. So yeah, let's get busy. Okay. So not only has it been wiped, but now we have run CCleaner through to completion to let it wipe the computer's free spaces. Do, 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 do. Let's get the free space unchecked so the next time that somebody runs it, they don't end up with um, a long wait. Okay, good. Everything else is already configured, which is wonderful. So really, the only thing that's left is for me to clean up windows a little bit. I think that I've already set Sage run. Yes, I have. Very cool. That's the one that's going to take a while. Or usually does. What? Ah, I'm a champion. I've already ran it. Awesome. Now, I had somebody that called me last night and told me that they thought they might have malware. So I'm going to take care of that. And I'll be back. Now, last things that we need to do on this computer, we need to get the product key off of it. You're not going to see the product key for this computer. Sorry. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love each and every one of you, but no. Somebody. Yeah, you. I see you. You would be the one, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. Activation was successful. Woo! All right. Browser cleanup sucks. That's what CCleaner's for. Rescue disk, doesn't really do anything. Wi-Fi inspector, annoying, since this is a desktop without Wi-Fi. Security browser extensions, no. Safe price, no, because you're not gonna redirect me to something else besides what I'm looking at. Secure line VPN, if it didn't cost money. Passwords, no, you don't need to store those. Uh, the cleanup, no, again, CCleaner, and game mode. Well, game mode, I might be leaving on there. All right, so install. Unprotected and looky there, the activate's gone. Cool. All right, this machine is done. Let's shut it down. Get it off the bench. <laughs> and I didn't turn my video camera back on. So you saw none of that, did you? That's hmm. it. We got that computer activated, done, ready to go. It's got antivirus on it. It's got all of its drivers, everything. So it's perfect. So I'm gonna get that off the bench so I can make room for the next one. Let's head down the road. And another. One. All right, like I said, let's get down that road. So here is a amusing antidote for you. In the middle of the week, I had a conversation here. And here is a place that takes care of people's teeth. So I come here, I got a text message from a number I didn't recognize. And the last part of the conversation that we had via phone was, we will talk about this amongst ourselves and we will then give you a call 
and have you come out? And I was like, okay, cool. Well, I get a text message yesterday saying, hey, we've talked about this. Why don't you come on out and take care of it? And I'm like, sure, I will be right there. Now, enter the twilight zone. I get to where I'm supposed to be, or at least where I think I'm supposed to be, and I go in. Things weren't really adding up. They were talking about computers that they had purchased from me. I know that that place that I was just at has not bought any computers from me, and that's not where I was supposed to be at all. (laughs) Yep. So because of the they, the, him, her syndrome, I called the number that I was texting, and I was like, hey... I'm here, but I'm not finding anything that fits that description. You want to help me out? And they're like, you're not here. Hence the twilight zone. (laughs) We're on our way now. (laughs) That is rather funny, though. Yeah. The tip of the day is this. If, by chance, you get hit with a scarer thing, big boxes popping up all over the place, the end of the world as we know it. And if you don't call us... That world will end, and your computer will blow up, and your computer's been talking to us, and we know that we need to get into it to fix it. Don't fall for it. It's just scareware. It's designed to get an emotional response from you so that you will call just to verify that everything is okay, because that's the way that we as humans work. We want to know it's okay. Well, most of us. And if it does happen, and you can't seem to get out of it, click on the start bar, hit the Windows button, and gracefully turn your computer off you will be good to go afterwards as always i would highly recommend running something like adw cleaner malware bytes and or your favorite antivirus not webber once you run your antiviruses do a boot time scan just to make sure i know that's going to take a little while but it's better safe than sorry that took a little bit longer than what i thought it would and that's okay they're taken care of the issue that they had was that Windows 10 had updated from 1709 to 1803. Another round of updates came out and it installed those and those updates did not do the computer any good either. Dictation from Dragon, USB, sound card devices such as like a Logitech microphone, its ability to map network drives and to connect to their main program that they use was all broke, every bit of it. I had to roll the operating system back to 1709, and then I used something that I've got up my sleeve to absolutely shut down Windows updates for Windows 10. No more. We do have a scheduled update plan. The long of it all is now it can't break it. I need a rant about something. It's Microsoft. Microsoft's the issue here. It's not the end users. The end users are not the issue whatsoever. Here's why I say that. Microsoft used to have a team that they used to test and test and rigorously test all the updates that they were going to release, right? It's because of them getting rid of those people that had worked for Microsoft for so long, which that's another rant altogether. They did. They they axed them. They got rid of them. They were like, eh, we're going to save money. So now they're using their entire client base, all their end users, as beta testers. That's what it amounts to. Every time that there's one of these cumulative updates, and let's be honest, these aren't cumulative updates. What these are, they're service packs. These service packs are coming out as betas pretty much, because if you wait, then the KB number changes just a little bit, or the date of the KB changes, and that's because they're making changes to their update. Microsoft has had a long-standing way of screwing one thing up and fixing another. Now it's getting to the point where, and I'm putting myself in the mind of my customers, you know, as an end user, why would I want to go through installing these silly updates when all they do is break a bunch of machines, break the programs that we use to make money with, and then prevent us from operating in a way that is going to be positive for our cash flow and then on top of that having to pay some guy like me to come in and then roll those back lock it down so it can't reinstall itself because it will if you don't i mean why why are they alienating their their user base like that any other company in the world i think if they had that business model they would not last very long it's only because they're so big that they can get away with it because 
what are you going to do? They have that philosophy of what's the end user going to do? What are they going to switch to if everybody uses this? We can do whatever we want. Let's think about the last couple updates. What updates have they had come out that has actually been beneficial to end users for either business or home use? It seems like what they're pushing towards is making it a social box that will play a lot of games. And if you have an Xbox, you can tie that in real easy to your computer. Business wise, nothing. It aggravates the fire out of me because every time I finally get the up and up on Microsoft to know what they're getting ready to do on the next update, they don't document what they're doing. So even if I do go to their websites and look at the stuff that's supposed to be in the change log, it's not actually there or it's going to a broken link or it's such a generic statement of, yes, this is an update, but four pages just to say that it's pointless. It's useless. So here's my challenge. My challenge to Microsoft, you are so removed from your customer base that you don't know what we actually need and want. Here's an idea. Stability. Wow. Boy, what that we, ooh, ooh, that would make my day. Another idea for you. Instead of releasing two major updates in the year, followed up with all kinds of cumulative updates that have to be done. And as well as that, all these little sub updates that are constantly breaking computers. You haven't checked against the hardware. You haven't checked to find out if USB-C is going to make it blue screen the next time that it restarts. Yes, that has happened. Or you haven't checked to see what's going to happen if get your developers back on station, rehire them, and make sure that things are good the way that they used to be. Used to, we looked forward to service packs. Now, these cumulative updates, they're so horrible, nobody wants to install them. And it's only getting worse, they had to be said. And the thing is, is if you ask IT professionals, I'm not the only one that feels this way. It's not just my opinion. It's an opinion that's shared. The whole thing that aggravated me the most, it wasn't the service call, it wasn't the people. The people that I visited with, they're actually really good people. They're very enjoyable. The thing that aggravates me is Microsoft. Because that service call, that wasn't me making good money. Good money is where somebody calls me with a legitimate problem. Now, don't get me wrong. They legitimately had a problem. But the problem itself wasn't legitimate. If Microsoft was spending a little bit of money, then end users wouldn't have to spend their money to fix the problems that Microsoft causes. That's the rant. Okay. So I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to get these videos edited. I'm in a fairly good mood. I know that it sounds like I'm all blah, 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 but I mean, regardless of, of the rant of, you know, why can't they get this straight? Why can't they put forth effort? Why can't they try? Because if I did my job in the way that they do their job, I wouldn't have a job. And beyond that, mine's not really a job. It's a career. It's a good one. With vlog five being done, I don't know if I'm going to do this again. I might put up vlogs ever so often. I've gotten that. I've gotten the taste. I know what it's like now. And I know what kind of decisions I would have to make if I was going to do uploads on a daily basis, which is awesome because now I have more knowledge than what I did whenever I started, which was kind of the whole point of it all. Thanks so much for hanging out with me this week. I really appreciate it in a big way. It's pretty cool of you. If you happen to be new here, now would be a good time to hit that subscribe button because I've got more stuff that's going to be made. This has been Shane with Greenstone Services. I hope that you guys have had a great week and that you have a great day. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you in the next video.